This is Coombe Cassis Rifle TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Newcastle here. Um, I'm joined by Lisa Whiteside. Um, good start. Let's talk about the start first of all. Powerful start from you. Yeah, obviously first round. Got the um, dropped her in the first round with a lovely backhand. Um, obviously Mick, my coach, was like, teach, uh, t t take it as like a 10 rounder. Go out there as if it's the third round. You're nice and warm and ready. And we kind of knew if we could get it where we could place that backhand in the right place, it would it would hurt her. So, yeah, bang and down she was gone. It was a lovely shot. So I was quite shocked myself, to be fair. So, yeah, but obviously, I think I straight after that I hurt with another. I think it was a left hook, so stiffened her legs and I think bloody hell, this is this is going all right. But I think then obviously after the first round, tactics changed and she came in quite scruffy and quite a lot of head clashes. Hence the. Yeah, obviously the cut and a uh, bit of uh, bruising, but it is what it is. And got a crack in six rounds. It should have been eight rounds. Very confused. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, yeah. God. Um, but it was, yeah, I was, I was made up. You know, I've been out three years and you worry, have you still got it? Is the ring rust? Um, I was thinking it's going to take me a few rounds to get in it. So to do that the first round, it's like, all right, OK, you're on form, keep going. So, yeah, enjoyed it. Let's talk about the cut because it seemed to be, I mean, blood was streaming from that left eye, like quite, uh, yeah, dramatically, should we say. But um, how was that kind of impacting you in that round that it was cut? Yeah, it was in, I think it was in the fourth round. And basically, um, as soon as it, I felt it go, bang, trickled, blood, was, it was pouring out. And straight away, you could feel it and it, it completely knocked my vision in my, in my right eye. So, yeah, for the rest of the round, I had... I was working off one eye and yeah, do you know what, it's probably a good experience to go through to be able to know that you can deal with a situation like that, so um, yeah, a lot of, she's obviously got a hard head because I hit her with some hard backhands and she kept coming, so, but unfortunately, yeah, she was coming in with the head quite a bit, um, um, so yeah, after the fourth round, Mick did a brilliant job ref said it was a head clash uh, doc was happy enough and we carried on so after the sixth round and we touched gloves and then after and then at the end the ref went oh that's it now i was like what i've got number two rounds haven't i but it is what it is supposedly the boxing board changed it the night before <laughs> didn't tell us so yeah i mean we were expecting eight rounds and yeah, then so <laughs> everyone was kind of working out what's going on because i think you were sat in your corner expecting the seventh round but she was not sat in a corner, she was kind of against the corner of the ropes but stood up, so it was confusing to see what was actually going on and who fought what, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I think she, I don't know if, if she stood up most rounds, I'm not sure, obviously I couldn't tell, but yeah, it was, it was one of those and we were very confused and then the ref was like, no, 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 it got changed last night. It was like, well, nobody told us, we were expecting eight rounds, so I suppose it is what it is, maybe a blessing because of the cut to the eye. Um, obviously won every single round plus the droppage in the first round so to get a nice clean win after being out three years um, you know she's been in with top girls she's been in the, with the current world champion I think she's nicked rounds off people and to just do have a nice comfortable win even though it was scruffy and a lot of head clashes um, yeah good to be back okay so are you in a hurry I don't mean now, like to get off this interview. I mean, are you in a hurry? Because like, I was talking to a few people kind of in and around the team, people you know, and it's like the same names come up, Dina Forston, et cetera, blah, blah. But you've not had that many fights as a pro, um, but do you feel like you're in a hurry? Have you got time to kind of still mould into the fight you want to be? Yeah, I just feel like... It, I'm, I box better when I box better people and I don't feel like I don't want to box journey women I want to box you know I got offered different females for this comeback fight and I didn't want an easy fight I wanted a tough girl who's not been stopped who's gonna you know give me a, a good fight and you know to then show my strength in that first round with beautiful backhand it kind of shows where I'm at and what I'm capable of. So, you know, I, the Prebellum's S Jam have utter belief in me. So I'm quite happy to be fast tracked through. I'm quite happy, you know. People say, oh, you know, the amateur game doesn't count. Well, I had over 120 fights and I, and I boxed the best in the world and beat the best in the world. And, you know, I was ranked 
you know, in the top one and two at different weights. So um, I've got all the experience. And I just want to push on now. And, you know, unfortunately, social media is not nice at times. Is it? You get trolls and say, oh, she's getting old. She needs to get a pension and all that crap. But do you know what? Age is just a number. I'm 36. The average age for a world champion is 37. So bring it on. Oh, fuck them anyway, whoever's... Well, I'm saying that at 41, but you know. But uh, listen, do your thing, like I said to you. You're, uh, we know that kind of from not just, you're not being judged on just kind of those few fights you've had as a professional, but people that have known kind of what you've done before and kind of know that there is still something there for you to achieve in, in professional boxing, whether you're 36 or not. So go and get it. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? We, we've had absolutely awesome sparring, I've done some awesome rounds with all top girls and felt great in there. Um, so yeah, it, it, this tonight was that, you know, I, I've still got it and I'm quite happy to say that I have and I'm raring and ready to go again. You know, I've already spoke to Probellum, hopefully back out in September. Um, obviously I'll have a 28 day because of my eye, but um, I'll be back out in September and just push on. Final one, if I give you a, like a, an open market, name me three fighters that you'd like to fight in the next 18 months, if I could give you anyone Lisa this might sound really rude but I probably wouldn't even be able to name three ones at my weight because I'm, I'm just like I'm happy to fight whoever you know I'm not one of these I'm not going to duck and dive anyone and if you want to be the best you've got to box the best and every credit to every single one of them world champions at Super Bantam you know Bantam wh whichever route I'm happy to take I'll never I'll swerve anything give me a challenge and um, I'll, I'll do my best and hopefully you know I want to be I'm a world champion and do it for my boy. Okay, Lisa, thank you very much for your time. Um, I'll let you crack on because I know you've <laughs> a bit of ice there. Yeah, yeah. But um, hopefully we'll catch up soon when you've got more fight news after this. Brilliant, yeah, cheers. Thanks very much. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness <laughs> Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.